So for a lot of projects, I know we're discussing beach erosion, and I think we all have a pretty good grasp on what beach erosion is, but instead of kind of going into the background of that, I want to focus on the other end of beach erosion, which is affecting the beach access, especially in our local area. So I decided to take you guys on a little walk um, near Preserve that's right across from my house to discuss how the last rain and over time with the rise in sea level, how that's affected this local area. This preserve is 137 acres of area set aside for both coastal access, but also maintaining a habitat for both monarchs along with multiple other native species to this current area. Now this is connected to the Elwood Devereaux Coast Open Space Plan that was comprised in 2001 focusing on maintaining 652 acres of continuous open space and natural areas for this coastal community. Now many of the trails are nice pat down dirt and some of them look like this. Slightly paved, for the most part pretty flat. Now here's the first trail down to the beach. Fully paved, pretty accessible for the most part. Not too bad at the very beginning. Up until this point right here. This is where things get a little bit more trickier. Now over the past rains we've gotten this past season, it has completely changed. The hillside has completely fallen out and there's points where there's no way to safely walk down this trail. All of this used to be fully paved, nice and flat, about three years ago. And as you can see right here, it's a little bit unstable, especially for someone who's not as comfortable on their feet as maybe a young adult like myself. Now, this is what I'm talking about in terms of changing a beach access. This trail used to fully run through here, all the way down to the beach very easily. You could take strollers, wagons, everything and whatnot to get down accessibly from up above down to the shore below. Much of this area is completely fallen through. With the erosion of the actual hill itself solely happening, taking away chunks of the paved area. Now this trail actually used to be about five feet to the left of us. Now they've put up this fence to keep people from falling down the hillside. Now, this has taken a few months of active effort from the county to make this usable. But now here's the trail that I just walked. As you can see, this whole hillside is slowly falling apart. This whole hillside to be taken over by ice plants, slowly tearing down the hill as it goes. So just a few minutes ago, I showed you guys a clip of me standing up top. This whole area has collapsed in the last three months. Completely gone, completely changed. And I wouldn't be surprised the next winter months, as we expected to get more rain, this hillside will completely change once again. Now, this is the second trail down to the beach. It's used much more often by the public, just as there's trails that easily connect to a parking lot or the preserve. Now this trail is quite unleveled, quite steep, and the ground is quite loose. In terms of accessibility, this is access within theory. But there is a large portion of the population that might not be able to use a trail that looks just like this. Quite steep, quite loose, not easily accessible. So with all this being said, the city of Goleta is currently working on this accessibility issue and they're planning in the next few years to reroute some of these trail sections to increase the accessibility but also help with erosion control. And this is down in the coastal area I showed you but also throughout the entire preserve. 
but they're ensuring that all of these trail surfaces are going to remain natural while taking out some of actual asphalt that is currently there. Um, but also working on some community participation, fire prevention, and habitat re-enhancement to keep this area clean and happy for the public to enjoy. Thanks for listening.